Freshies, no my keep fresh. I'm Phoenix. And I'm Simone, and we're from the Sky City Mystics. We'll be keeping it fresh for you this morning. Here's what's coming up on today's episode. Let's go! I think everyone around me kind of inspires me as well. Creative Souls has helped a lot. I don't think I would be here without Dee. I always get asked where I'm from because of my last name, Karaka but apparently I'm not related to those Caracas in Gisborne. What's our nutritionist got you on this week? Lots of eggs. What do you wish you could eat? Oh, biscuits. I know, Freshies, she eats my biscuits all the time, post and pre-game. But we all know the best food is found at Rarotonga. The definition of takurua is that it's a, either a special event or a special dish for a very special occasion. Love Cook Island food, keep it fresh. So umukai is food from the oven, but a takurua can be from the oven, from the sea fresh, all being prepared by experts in their own areas, whether you are the chef or the fisherman or the hunter, and all those expert resources are brought together to produce a fine dining experience. This takurua is about several organisations coming together to encourage and to develop the awareness of local food. Obesity is a huge problem. Let's go back to our cultural diet. You know, everyone's talking about superfoods, superfruits, and self-sustainability. That's our culture. That's specific culture. On the island of Mangaia, they've teamed up with a climate change office to support five very young local farmers into setting up their own plantations. And they've actually gone into broccoli, cauliflower, the zucchinis, the capsicums and tomatoes. People don't actually realise that these produce are from Mangaia and they're organically grown, which is fantastic. Fish veggies! We've sourced a lot of things from the outer islands and a lot of things locally as well. So we have some wild boar that's come from Achu, some wild goat. We've got some fish from the northern group islands in Manihiki. Keep it local, keep it fresh. Kick out! So what we're trying to do is bring that to the table and say, hey, this is here, use it. More fresh, you look. Keep, keep it, it local, local, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh. So what we hope to do is showcase that with these talented chefs from overseas working with local chefs to introduce some new techniques on how they can enhance local food. It's been busy, hectic, up and down, crazy, but fun. Good for the students here as well, learning and mingling with the international chefs. It's great, and I'm glad this little island can do so much, man. And with this kind of cool people here, learn so much. Pacific cuisine is so much more than food. It's a story. I got a really cool job, and that was to come over and work with the local kids here from Te Reo College, and we put together all the legends of the eels, the goat, the boar, the fish, all the ingredients that are being used for tonight. Like climbing a coconut tree, we like have to like do actions about a coconut tree, and then bring the coconut down, and then um, slicing the coconut. Keep it local, keep it fresh. Cheers! 
Oh, it's been pretty crazy, eh? Just having all these five courses uh, from right around the Cook Islands, and hopefully it's a, a stepping stone to a brighter future for Cook Islands cuisine. It's so cool because here in Rarotonga, they've got a real commitment to um, getting people to eat healthy, and I think that's one of the good things about this, that even the kids, as we were rehearsing, got to understand what the different products were. It's a great experience um, to see our traditional food put into the spotlight on a professional level. Done by international chefs, it's great. Keep it fresh! The whole project of Takurua, it's connecting us. It's connecting us back to our culture, tradition. So we're using our old ways, or some of what we've learned in previous times, to take us forward to a new journey. Keep, keep it, it local, local keep, keep it fresh. fresh. Yee -yee. Yee -yee. <laughs>My first mural was only a couple of months ago and it kind of blew up from there and now I've got this huge mural piece that I'm doing. The fact that Greyland, like Richmond Rovers especially, could give up a wall like this is pretty sick. No, I actually think it works better without the logo because it's uh, even though we're sort of, uh, you know, it's the Richmond League Club, been here over 100 years, it's not about Richmond, it's about Greyland and it's about Central Auckland, so we're trying to tie in a lot of the history around the area. I guess this is a way for us to sort of celebrate uh, uh, the past and the future coming together. Seeing my creation come to life is like pretty cool because I didn't think it would originally. It was like on quite a small piece of paper, but now seeing it up there and big and colorful, it's, it's amazing, it's a cool feeling. I want to start doing more wall spaces like this. It would be real cool to see my art everywhere. I think I'm dedicating it to the entire community. I think it's a big piece and I want it to represent everyone. I want everyone to feel like it's especially for them. No rest for us, but you can take a break, freshies. More freshness after this. I played for Auckland Reps and obviously Simone played for Harbour. She came over to the, obviously, the better side. Hey, no opener, no worries. If you find yourself in this emergency situation, don't worry about it, because we got your back. I don't know whether to stay with her or not. Well, in the end of the day, who do you love? Who do you think? There you go. Who do you do? Who do you? Thanks, Luz. Now I know what to do. Do. Who do? Hello Freshies, I'm Simone Nathan. And I'm Phoenix Karaka and we're from the Northern Mystics. And this is Our World. Why netball? 
I have to say because I couldn't play league, I, I loved playing league when I was younger, but unfortunately there were no pathways for women to play league or girls to play league at my age, so that's probably why I played netball. And you? I think because all my older sisters played and just the culture of netball in my family, so I learned to love it. What are the mystics in jokes? We have a funny Ngamahi story where a text got sent out to all of the Fano to meet up before the game and it ended with Ngamahi and one of the dads thought that that was someone's name and went up to the first Māori person that he saw and said, is your name Ngamahi? Yeah. And poor Jimmy got it wrong. Yeah, but he's from the south so it's okay. We understand. <laughs> we love you Jimmy. <laughs> what other teams you've played for? So I played for Westlake Girls High School and then also Harbour, Auckland and Pulse, where we live together. I also went down to Deep South and Invercargill for three years. I played for Auckland Reps and obviously Simone played for Harbour because she's from the shore, but she came over to the, obviously, the better side and started playing for Auckland and now she's in the Northern Mystics. What would your career highlight be so far? There's two, actually. Going to the World Youth Cup with the New Zealand Under-21s in Glasgow, so I got to travel. But then also being part of the Silver Ferns um, 2015 World Cup team. Who were your netball heroes growing up? Mine would definitely be Tim Potter George, just because she played my position and she was like amazing to watch. She had this like flair about her. Mine would have to be Bernice Minnie. I've been told that I kind of play like her, so I had to start watching her and um, I pretty, um, yeah, I have to say I'm pretty much like her, <laughs> if that makes sense. Let's do that one again. It's te wiki or te reo Māori. Do you speak Māori? Is it something that you want to do? Yes, well, I went to Kohanga and then kind of lost it going into primary. I would love to learn it again. I'm just really gutted that I didn't carry on with it. I always get asked where I'm from because of my last name, Karaka but apparently I'm not related to those Karakas in Gisborne. So yeah, sorry guys. When you ask for free tickets, we're not cuzzies. <laughs> Could I say that? What are some other career highlights for you? Definitely our whole team being in the Jess B set it off video oh. clip. That was such a fun day. I wipe these tears up for my sister, can you see? We've been gold our souls, women, now I told you, can you see? Melanin right deep, now I'm just- Fun fact, Jess B used to play for the Northern Mystics. Yeah. It looked like fun. Your dance moves on the <laughs> other hand, probably not that great. <laughs> Last question for the day, top tips for playing your best game? Definitely getting a good night's sleep. That's enough tips from us freshies, but here are fresh tips. Hey, what's up, Toko? Hey, what's up, man? Man, you know it's our favorite time of the day. Lunch time. That's right. <laughs> uh, hey, do you have a can opener? Hey, no opener, no worries. If you find yourself in this emergency situation, don't worry about it, because we got your back. All right, out there in the kingdom of Donga, what we do is we always go out into the bush. Mm. So we never have a can opener. But today we have a Helepelu, aka Machete. Please, kids, don't do this. Just give it to the Adam. As you can see, this is a very large knife. So make sure you take your time, relax, and don't hurt yourself because the Kapapulu is not going to run away anywhere. I can smell it. it smells good. <sighs> Efo, Efo. All right, now we're back in New Zealand. Now you don't have a helipelu in the kitchen, but what we do have is a butter knife. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so if you don't have any milk with your Weepix, you can always use coconut cream. Efo. <laughs> hey, Toko, what do you have for lunch? Yoga, bro. Bro, can I use your spoon? A spoon? Yeah. Kapaika, bro. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh. I've never seen anyone uh, use a spoon before to open the can. Bro, all you have to do is just first, you need to thin up the tin. Ooh. Yeah, just there you like go. It? Yeah, bro. And then after that, yeah. you need to put it through. There. Can we use the knife now? <laughs> Wow! See? Good. You 
open it and then tap it in like that. Open your mouth. Oh my god. Mm. Love it. I think I love it. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have a can opener, no worries. Let nothing stop you from eating. E foe. I need a break. Same. And so do you, freshies. See you after this. See ya. Get Hurry up, get going. We are team Fresh and Chips. Oh, oh fresh, fresh and Chips. Fresh and Chips. Wow. Papa, kura. Papa, Papa kura. Oh, don't worry about it. I've already ordered us something to online. What a waste of money. Why? Because Papa could have taken us. Papa Kura! Welcome back to Fresh. In a world of competitive sport, we take it pretty serious, but there's always the crack up moments. What's your funnest memory on court? Mine would have to be catching the ball with my face. <laughs> <laughs> what about one. yours? Probably laughing at everyone else when that kind of stuff happens. <laughs> you know you're fresh when you can laugh at yourself or your teammates. Here's some more fresh comedy. <laughs> yeah, all right, a warm Pacific greeting to you and welcome very much to everyone who's watching. Welcome to How Fresh Are You? All right. In our red corner, we've got two of Samoa's favorite chants. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You've seen them on the radio and heard them on the TV. Please put your hands together for Tess Laumua and Will Boyd. All right, guys. What a privilege. What a privilege to have you here today. What's the name of your team for today's game show? Ah. We are team Fresh and Chips. Oh, fresh and Chips. Fresh and Chips. Wow. Okay, just a test. Fresh and Chips here on the red corner. The blue corner, we've got the Queen of Samoa, the Princess of Tonga. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your Lady Achong and Sandy Wukalo Kalo. Yeah. All right. So, All right. Well, what's, what's the name of your team here, ladies? We are the Freshables. The Freshables? The Freshables. Wow. Like a vegetable. <laughs> And let's start with our first game, a rapid fire. That's right, like a rapid fire, like ah! Oh. Okay, now the first question. Name two rocks that are famous in the Pacific. Um. Yeah, well, uh, the rock and Niue. Uh, yeah, and for a bonus point, what is the third one? George Clooney. That's correct. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Right. yeah! Two points for you and a thousand points for the ladies. Right. Yeah. Right. But for your information, Ma. Ma Anun oh, was uh, ah, the other yes. famous. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, question number two. In Samoa, the name John is Yoane. What is it in Tongi? Fiona. John is there's a 500 points, 1500 points here by the ladies and a fresh and chips. Only two points. Come on, boys, gotta pick it up. Hey, give me some more bad name. Okay, question three. You ready? Yeah. Texas is the nickname for what small town in Aotearoa? Yes. Tukutani. Huh? Oh, Tukutani and Tukutani. There's minus two points. Oh, stink. Tearoa. Oh, no, it's almost correct, but really stupid. Okay. I don't know why you came today. No, no, no. Is that city or town? You don't deserve to have a citizen in this country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. Don't think you're going to get, but the answer is the Teco. The Wow. Yeah, the Teco. Yeah, the Teco. Okay, question number four. What was the colour of the towel the Billy James wore? Oh, yes, uh, fresh and chips? Yellow. Yellow! Oh, all right! Congratulations! Yellow. Yeah, yellow. yellow! And now for our next game, Place the Face. Now, first of all, 
Can you look at the face and tell us who you think it is? So, ladies, what do you think? Is it an athlete? Is it a politician? An entertainer? Receding hairline, grey hair. Robin Mangasiva! Yes! Robin Mangasiva? No! Okay, uh, fresh and tips. What do you think that is? Look at those eyes, mate. Oh, this eye, uh, yeah. Mm. Looks like it's many characters in those eyes. Many characters? Yeah. Many characters. Many characters. Hey. Is it Cliff Curtis? Cliff Curtis? Let's go and see if it's Cliff Curtis. Hey! Oh, yeah. Cliff Curtis, right there. Oh. It's an extra 100 points yeah. for the fish and chips. Wow, that was hard to me, but these guys, they're so good. Good eyes means they are king. Moe Kolo. Now, girls, place this face. Oh, um... Coco. Periscope. <gasps> Periscope. Mm. Periscope? Let's yes. see. Let's see if yes. this is Periscope. Ah. Oh, wow! <laughs> Let's give him a big hand, boys, eh? Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a comeback. Ooh. So, ladies, what was it that gave it away that you could tell that it was Periscope? Oh, because we have the same eyebrow. Eyebrow. A woman knows a woman. Both teams, please have a look and place this trace. Ah, uh, yes, uh, fresh and chips. Is it Stan Walker? It's not Stan Walker. Ah, oh, man. Fresh and boys, you got an idea who they could be? Look at the, it's got the earrings. So is it really a male or could be female? Valerie Adams. Valerie Adams, let's have a look and see if your answer is correct. Yes! Fantastic! Let's give it up for the girls, our champions, the Freshables! <laughs> Woohoo! Thank you, Fresh and Chips, for coming today. But as you all know, when you come to our house, you never leave empty headed. We've got some prizes here for all our contestants. But see you again on How Fresh Are You? <laughs> all right! Woohoo! Why? So sorry, my freshies, but we're done. But the training never stops, and the freshness doesn't either. Here's what's coming up for you next week. Hadi da, Koto. Mei takimata for joining us here at the 2018 Kuki Festival in the beautiful Cook Islands. You have to be here. You cannot miss it. Make sure you're here with us, but we're always keeping it fresh. Always looking so flashy.